Yeah, good day from Occupy Sydney. Um, we've got about 12 occupiers holding the fort here overnight. Uh, look, it's uh, it's that time of year again when everyone goes on holiday and Martin Place is a little bit of a morgue. Um, we just want to remind everybody that um, if you haven't done so already, you know that credit card you've got, either leave it in your pocket or cut it up and throw it in the rubbish bin because that's going to kill you that thing. Earlier on this week, um, Occupy Sydney supported the, um, the cleaners at uh, Westfield um, in their dispute. Uh, look, these guys are among the lowest paid, these, sorry, these guys and girls are among the lowest paid workers in Sydney, among the lowest paid workers in Australia, and they're working for one of the most profitable companies. Uh, that, you know, common sense tells me that just up their pay a little bit and they'll be able to manage and um, what, what that takes away from Westfield's bottom line will be negligible. Report back from Auckland, uh, we had one of the ladies from Auckland through earlier this morning giving us, us an update. Apparently Auckland uh, have been evicted, they've appealed to the High Court and um, some of their people though have uh, have made the decision to go and occupy other parks being Albert Park and Victoria Park uh, the two major parks in Auckland uh, the occupation is still in place and the police have made no, no attempt to uh, move them on but um, for various reasons some of the Occupy Auckland people seem to feel a lot, feel a lot safer um, having moved on um, Occupy Berkeley got smashed um, and multiple arrests from, uh, from memory about 54 arrests there. Um, Occupy Dunedin have decided to fold up and go home. It, look, it's a university town and maybe they all wanted to go home for Christmas, I don't know. But um, the Octagon is also a focal point for fireworks in that city and that's where they were camped so maybe they just move, decided to move out of the way uh, as a courtesy to the um, to the Dunedin public. Um, whatever whatever their decision was for, um, they're no longer occupying. I, un I understand that they have every intention of coming back strong in the new year though. There will be some interesting things happening at Occupy Sydney on New Year's Eve. Um, we're planning a bit of a party night, a bit of an art exhibition um, called Art Attack, a little bit of guerrilla art and um, look if you've got any old uh, old pictures, if, if you've got any old works of art that you want to bring along and e exhibit in a public space for free, uh, if, you've, if you've got any art you've done yourself, um, look come down on New Year's Eve and hey join the party.